After spending almost a month in Hanoi, I want to share what my experiences were with cost, accommodation, work, social life, food, and more. This is not Hanoi. This is actually Da Nang, and this is the rooftop of the place I'm currently staying because it has good lighting and it's near sunset. First of all, unlike Da Nang, Hanoi is in northern Vietnam, which means it isn't warm all year round. Something I learned shortly after I booked my flight. This fog is definitely a vibe. The lights and everything is just like really surreal. Also, it's kind of cold here. But as soon as I arrived in Hanoi, I really liked it. You know, cities, places have different vibes, and I just dig the vibe of Hanoi. It was very chill, very relaxed, very beautiful, very scenic. It's a really pretty place to just walk around. It's got the chaos to a fun amount. So we try to cross. Just gotta go for it. But let's get into accommodation. One of the reasons I should visit Hanoi is because I have a buddy staying there. Now, he did invite me to stay with him, but he actually had a guest during that same time. So I found a place to myself through Airbnb. Now, coming to Vietnam, I had seen so many videos from travel creators saying how cheap Vietnam was. So I was expecting I'm going to find an amazing place for like 300 bucks a month. You can find places for that price. This place I'm staying at right now is for 350 bucks. But it took us like a month and a half to find a deal like this. Before that, we were staying in a place right across the street, right here in the same area, a hotel essentially, that was $800 a month. You might get lucky, you might find a place, you might not. The first place, Airbnb, I landed on. Great location, great view. So here's the terrace. And that's the view I was thinking of. Got a view of the lake. What do you think? How much do you think this costs? I'm kind of in like beginning old quarter, Teho, which is kind of like a popular area for foreigners and things. But it was $20 a night. The first deal the owner gave me was 500 bucks for the month. But this is Asia, land of negotiation. I got him down to 400 bucks. Still a very nice place. I probably would have stayed there, but my buddy's place opened up. So I moved in to his guest room. Now, luckily I was there with a friend. His other friend was there. Later, another friend of mine came. I had a bit of a community there. We went to a language exchange there. That was really fun to meet people. And there are plenty of events to find for stuff like meetup, Facebook, or couch surfing. There are a lot of social events organized by and for foreigners, and it really has some really great nightlife. We even went to like a salsa night that was really fun. Hanoi has everything. If you want the quiet, chill area around the lake, you can have that. If you want to have the nightlife, you can have that. If you want to go explore some historical areas, you can have that. Why is this church a big deal? I'm not sure. <laughs> but I do see a lot of tourists. And in general, end of January, early February when I went, probably isn't the best time to go because it also happens to coincide with the Tet Festival, the Vietnamese New Year Festival, which you might think is a good time to visit, but... Closed for Tet. One thing you should know, and I should know, is that a lot of places, restaurants, grocery stores, everything is going to be closed, so goal over the next week is to not starve. Turns out a lot of people actually leave the major towns like Hanoi during these festivals. So they end up being kind of ghost towns. But I did get experience fireworks with locals. People there are very used to foreigners. I don't feel at all out of place. I just feel like I kind of fit in, can walk around. And overall, I was just treated very well. I did get ripped off once by a store owner charging me like four times what a water bottle usually is. Water isn't filtered here, so it's kind of necessary. Maybe go to a big supermarket or you can check on like the Grab app if you want to gauge what things should cost. For transportation, I would highly recommend using the Grab taxi app because then the price is just there. You don't need to deal with negotiation and it's just simpler. Food. Watching some of the videos back, I actually remember Remember that I had a lot of really good food experiences. There's a place called Cats Vegan that is amazing. The guy like helps you prepare the meal and then kind of feeds you, All right, thank you. <laughs> which is odd, but it's cool. Kia's was amazing. They even gave me a cookie because it was my first time there. There's a place called Veggie Castle, which is a buffet. Just pick out whatever you want, eat it. So yeah, that meal was less than $4. If I stay here for a while, I am definitely not cooking. Food-wise, had an amazing time. The great thing about places like Da Nang and Hanoi especially is you get these amazing food and it's super cheap. In general, amazing food in Vietnam. This is probably the easiest place that I visited to be vegan. In terms of cost, quality, food, it's so easy, so good. There's another place called I Vegan that has delicious food and is also really comfortable to work from. I highly recommend that, had good internet. There was a co-work that I went to. Really great place, really chill. Recommend it if you need a co-work. I will say the cafe culture in Da Nang is unbeat in my opinion. There's just oddly amazing cafe culture here. Also really great options for fitness. Uh, I went to a place called Fitness Village and it was super fun. They had like yoga and fitness classes. It's just a good way to like find community and, and be amongst people. Cost wise in general, Ho Chi Minh I did find to be a bit more expensive, but I would say Da Nang and Hanoi fairly similar. Maybe even Hanoi is cheaper. I don't know but they're like, they're about the same. I still generally like Da Nang more. I like the beach, but if I had to choose between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi would be an easy pick.
And it just feels like a great balance of everything. It feels like it's a very balanced city. Since you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my video on Ho Chi Minh. Hopefully we'll have a video on Da Nang soon. Also check out my weekly newsletter on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.